Before we dig into the assertion, it's vital to initially comprehend what atomic fuel pedals really are. The Huge Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17-mile ring made out of superconducting magnets. It remains as the world's biggest and most surprising molecule smasher, addressing the zenith of human accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it is strong to the point that it can reproduce the specific states of the universe's most memorable moments. Anyway, could the machine that plans to uncover the secrets of the universe possibly hold the way to something genuinely exceptional? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the most famous research institutions worldwide, with 23 member nations and various researchers. It fills in as a center for collaboration and development. While the LHC is CERN's essential project, it is just a piece of a tremendous network of fuel pedals and exploratory examinations. This system is designed not so much for engines or people, but rather for subnuclear particles in a significant hardship and the actual texture of space itself. The LHC speeds up protons near the speed of light, guiding them into a crash course that reflects the energy delivered during the Big Bang. These impacts create temperatures far hotter than the sun's core. An immense range of magnets coordinates the protons on their way, while modern cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures lower than space. The beams in the LHC are made to crash at four unmistakable areas across the gas pedal ring, cooperating with four specific molecule detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Everyone has a unique capability, concentrating on different features of particle physics. Together, they act as gigantic cameras, capturing pictures of these impacts. Researchers then analyze the resulting particles, looking for indications of the slippery Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God particle, and other anomalies that could reveal insight into the major parts of the universe. By zeroing in on the minuscule, we open insights into the macrocosmic world. Yet, with each answer, new questions emerge. With each discovery, another test surfaces. The LHC isn't simply a scientific device, it is an image of human curiosity and progress. It addresses our tenacious quest for understanding and our longing to unlock the crucial forces that govern our universe. Anyway, as we stretch the boundaries of our knowledge, we must also confront further existential inquiries. What dangers lie in examining the unknown? Might our quest for knowledge someday unintentionally release forces beyond our reach? Inside CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are continually extended, a chilling disclosure has surfaced, making even the most experienced researchers pause. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and a legitimate voice in the domain of particle physics, recently shared a statement that has both enthralled and disturbed the world. His words reverberated with disturbing clarity. The purpose of CERN's LHC is to mimic a little Big Bang. Yes, you heard correctly, a miniature version of the very event that birthed our universe. The physicist also explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's massive potential to make pivotal discoveries, including uncovering the mysteries of the Higgs boson and diving into the confounding universe of dark matter, which is a huge part of the universe. Imagine grasping the force of creation, the capacity to gather the actual essence of the universe. It's a fascinating opportunity, but one full of hazard. The miniature Big Bang isn't a hypothetical idea, it is a tangible reality. Inside the LHC, the extreme temperatures, tensions, and raw energy reenact the circumstances present at the birth of the universe. It's like standing near the precipice of written history, witnessing the commencement of existence itself. Yet with such power comes great responsibility, and the pressing question remains, what if something goes wrong? In 1978, Russian physicist Anat Borsky encountered an accident that could forever change his life. While working at the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pino, Russia, a breakdown caused a proton beam to hit him. The beam, with an unbelievable force, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. His experience was terrifying. He saw a flash brighter than 1,000 suns but had no immediate concerns. The proton beam left a path of destruction, burning tissue and bone, yet astonishingly, he remained conscious and even walked to seek treatment. The result was disturbing yet dreamlike. The proton beam caused localized tissue damage, leading to partial hearing loss in one ear and facial paralysis on one side. Strikingly, Borsky's mental faculties remained unaffected, and he continued his career in medicine. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the enormous power and potential dangers inherent in particle accelerators. 
The risks associated with machines like the LHC should be considered carefully. The possibility of catastrophic reactions, where the very fabric of life is altered, isn't the stuff of science fiction but a real concern voiced by respected scientists. One of the most startling and captivating issues surrounding the LHC's trials is the potential creation of a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is so intense that even light can't escape. These cosmic vacuum cleaners consume stars and are baffling entities hidden in the shadows of our universe. The possibility that the LHC could create one of these phenomena, even on a small scale, is both awe-inspiring and unsettling. Could this black hole someday grow uncontrollably and eventually consume the Earth from within? Researchers have reassured the public that any black hole created by the LHC would be unstable and would vanish very quickly. Still, the mere possibility of such an event has sparked discussions, fears, and wonder at the power humanity wields. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. The answer lies in the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons crash at near-light speeds, the energy released is so great that it warps the very fabric of space-time. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it creates a well deep enough to draw anything nearby into it. This serves as an analogy for what could occur inside the LHC. Within the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are often strange and astonishing, a hypothesis exists suggesting there could be more dimensions hidden within our existence. If these dimensions do exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. This strange interplay of particles has even caught the attention of prominent scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned of the potential dangers of the Higgs boson at extremely high energy levels. Such instability could lead to a catastrophic event known as vacuum decay, an event that wouldn't destroy the Earth but could potentially erase the entire universe. The renowned cosmologist and physicist Sir Martin Rees has also voiced concerns about CERN's investigations in his book Our Final Hour, where he explored the risks associated with particle accelerators, including the LHC. His words were cautious, yet filled with existential dread. Rees examined a worst-case scenario in which a failed experiment could trigger a phase transition, rippling through space-time and causing a catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. However, Rees assigned a low probability to these disastrous outcomes. He argued that even a small risk was worth serious consideration. The stakes are enormous, and the margin for error is razor-thin. Researchers at CERN have conducted countless simulations, examined theories, and implemented rigorous safety protocols to ensure the LHC's operations are as safe as possible. Brian Cox himself emphasized the importance of these safeguards, acknowledging the concerns surrounding the LHC's operations. He reassured the public that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally experiences, and the likelihood of creating a stable black hole is astronomically low. Even if a black hole were created, scientists argue, it would be so small and unstable that it would rapidly dissipate, emitting energy in a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation. It would be a brief moment of cosmic wonder, a fleeting glimpse into the void before it vanished forever. Some have taken this idea even further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. While this hypothesis is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captured the imagination of many, becoming a subject of fascination, fear, and fantasy. What could lie beyond our universe? Could we unknowingly release forces or entities we don't yet understand? The concept of opening a gateway to another realm has even been sensationalized by various news outlets, fueling doubts and fears. But where did this idea originate, and what does it mean in terms of scientific inquiry? Hidden dimensions are not new to physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests there may be more than the standard three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be tiny or hidden from our perception, but under extreme conditions, they may be revealed or uncovered. Now imagine the LHC as a massive key, opening doors that have been locked since the dawn of history. When protons collide at energy levels never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples that probe these hidden dimensions. If these dimensions exist, the LHC might uncover them. Yet, before we get too carried away with wild speculation, it's essential to recognize that while the LHC is massive, it is still a carefully controlled experiment, 
designed with numerous safeguards to ensure it operates within safe limits. While the LHC represents an incredible scientific endeavor, it is essential to remember that the work done there is part of a broader effort to understand the fundamental building blocks of our universe. As scientists continue to probe deeper into the realms of particle physics and cosmology, questions surrounding the nature of space, time, and the universe will only become more profound. The discoveries made at CERN and similar facilities could reshape our understanding of reality itself. Still, it is equally important to weigh the risks, as any breakthrough comes with the potential for unforeseen consequences. Many people remain fascinated by the idea that the LHC could unlock a new era of scientific discovery, offering insight into the very origins of our universe. However, there is also a healthy level of skepticism and caution, as these experiments explore the unknown. The future of particle physics may hold answers to some of humanity's most profound questions about existence, but it is crucial to approach these inquiries with respect for the power of the machines and the science that drives them. In conclusion, the LHC represents both the pinnacle of human achievement and the potential for new, uncharted territory. Whether it will lead to groundbreaking discoveries or unexpected risks, the importance of the work being done cannot be overstated. As scientists push the boundaries of what we know, humanity's understanding of the universe is being transformed, and with it, the path to unraveling the mysteries of existence continues to unfold. As the LHC continues to push the limits of our understanding, the scientific community remains vigilant, ensuring that the potential risks are constantly monitored and addressed. The pursuit of knowledge is, and always will be, a balancing act between progress and caution. While we strive to uncover the secrets of the cosmos, we must also be aware of the potential consequences of our actions. Every experiment, every discovery, and every step forward is a reminder that we are still learning and still evolving in our understanding of the universe. The LHC's ongoing experiments are more than just tests of particle physics. They are explorations of the fundamental laws that govern everything from the smallest particles to the largest structures in the cosmos. In a sense, each collision at the LHC is like a tiny echo of the Big Bang itself, offering a glimpse into the forces and phenomena that shaped our universe from the very beginning. Whether these collisions reveal new particles, new forces, or even entirely new dimensions, they are all part of a larger quest to answer questions that have haunted humanity for centuries. What is the nature of reality? How did the universe come to be? And what lies beyond the observable universe? For the scientists working at CERN, these questions are not just abstract concepts, they are the driving force behind every experiment, every calculation, and every piece of data they gather. They are not just searching for answers, they are shaping the future of science and technology. Their discoveries will likely inspire new fields of research, new technologies, and perhaps even new ways of thinking about our place in the universe. At the same time, the ethical and philosophical implications of these discoveries must not be ignored. As we unlock more knowledge, we must also ask ourselves how we use it and what responsibilities we have as stewards of this knowledge. In the age of scientific advancements that can alter the very fabric of space and time, it is crucial to remain aware of the potential consequences, both positive and negative, that come with wielding such immense power. As the LHC continues to provide us with new insights into the universe, it will undoubtedly spark further debates and discussions about the limits of human knowledge and the potential risks involved. But one thing is certain, the quest for knowledge will not stop. It will continue to drive humanity forward, challenging us to confront the unknown and pushing the boundaries of what we once thought possible. In the end, the journey of discovery is what matters most. Whether we are uncovering the mysteries of particle physics or exploring the vastness of space, the pursuit of knowledge is a reflection of our curiosity, our ingenuity, and our desire to understand the universe and our place within it. The LHC, as a symbol of human curiosity and ambition, will remain a beacon of hope for future generations, guiding them toward new frontiers of understanding and discovery.